What is Alora? Some would say that Alora is nature. Therese would probably say that Alora is the place where new friends meet and old friends remain together. Tito would probably say it is where superheroes are born. Some would say it is a town of art, while others would argue it's a town of excitement. In any event, Alora is a community rooted in faith, family, and community. At the age of nine, I moved into this house at 77 Keating Drive. This is the tree house that me and my first ever friend from Alora built together. These were the steps to my future education. I learned many things at St. Mary's Catholic School. Perhaps the most influential thing I learned there was track and field. Track and field taught me how to compete from a very early age. It was this competitiveness that made me excel in many different areas of my life. Another thing that St. Mary's taught me was how to fight. This is the hill that me and my future best friend, Tito Dorito, would duke it out on. To this day, I still have the championship belt hanging in my closet. My first real job was at the Alora Mill Inn. This was where I learned the fine art of dishwashing. It wasn't long after that that I started to help build the Grand River Slots and Raceway. And what I mean by this is that I labored for a roofing company in the hottest summer on record in Alora. It was so hot that summer that it was nearly impossible to get the roof finished on time. And that is probably why the roof currently leaks so much. This summer I will be working here with Therese at the Metcalf. Alongside my good buddy Rye Bear, I will be serving drinks to thirsty and hopefully wealthy patrons. By the way, I forgot to mention that Tito Dorito is the cook. So maybe if you have nothing better to do one day in the summer, come down to the Metcalf in Alora, and I might be able to pour you a couple drinks on the house. So what is Alora? Alora is...